Welcome back to How to Airbnb. My name is Andrew, and today I'm going to share with you Airbnb tips for renters. This episode is for people who are renting. If you have a spare room in your house and you're thinking about doing Airbnb, this video is for you. If you're going away for the weekend and you're thinking about putting your place up, this video is for you. I'm going to share with you four tips for Airbnb renters. In this video, I'm going to share with you guys how to do market research. I'm going to answer the question of should you tell your landlord that you want to host on Airbnb? And I'm also going to answer the question, should you tell your neighbors that you're going to be hosting? Stick around until the end and I'm going to share one final tip with you guys. Market research. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to find out if Airbnb is going to work in your location. The way that you're going to do this is that you're actually going to look up your address on the Airbnb site. Once you've found your address, zoom in as close as you can to it. Now that you're zoomed in on your location, what you want to do next is you want to put in all of your listing information that you're going to have. You're going to put in how many bedrooms you have, how many bathrooms you have, if you have a TV, if you have parking, if there's an elevator, a fireplace. You want to look for your listing and see if there's other people in your area that offer similar listings. Now that you've put in all of your information, what you want to start doing is you want to start zooming out of the map one step at a time so that you can see if there's anybody in your vicinity, anybody near you that has a listing like yours. Now that you've zoomed out a few times and you have found a few listings, what you want to do is you want to create a wish list with these listings so you can come and look at them again later. Now that you've compiled your top 10 list of your competition in your area, Next step is going to be to look at all these listings calendars. What you want to compare to specifically is listings that are active. What I mean by that is look at the calendar and see how far in the future they have availability. You're going to notice that some of your listings that you favorited probably have no availability and they're just on the site. They're just not active. So they're not a very they're not a good comparison at all. The second thing you want to look for is how many reviews these properties have. It's easy now because you have zero reviews because you haven't put your listing up yet. But if you do have a listing up, you can still use reviews as a base point. So if you don't have any reviews, you can compare your listing to almost any listing out there because you don't have any experience. But let's say you have 10 reviews, 15 reviews, 20 reviews. You wanna make that your base point. So anybody who has the same amount of reviews as you or more. The big tip here is you want to favorite and look at listings that are very similar to what you're going to put up and you want to favorite them. And you need to make sure that these listings are active. Repeat this process until you find 10 listings that are very similar to what you want to offer. Now let's say you can't find 10 listings that are super similar to yours. Well, if that's the case, it just might not be a good location for Airbnb. And that does exist. But if that's the case, don't worry too much about it. With the proper marketing, you can make almost any location work. The strategy is just going to be a little bit different. In future videos, I'm going to show you how to market your place for locations that are not as high traffic as downtown areas. So before you go, make sure you subscribe to the channel and catch those future videos. Tip number two. Landlord and property manager. So great news, you did your market research, you found competition around you, and you figured out that your location is actually a place that Airbnb can work. The next step, should you ask your landlord permission to host on Airbnb? The short answer, don't. The answer you're gonna get if you ask is gonna be no. Put up a listing and show your landlord that it can work before you show them. The simple answer to, hey, do you mind if I put my place on Airbnb, is no. But if you can show them a project that worked, then they're gonna feel a little bit different about it. 
especially if it's a spare room in your house where you're gonna be there anyway. It's kind of like having a roommate, but they're just not there as often. Especially if you're only setting up for a weekend, there's no real point of going all around and trying to communicate back and forth to try and make something happen. Like I said, the short answer is gonna be no. The best thing you can do is to make it work, and then if you wanna tell your landlord, go for it. But have something to show them. Remember, the number one priority for landlords is to have rent paid on time. So just make sure your bills are in order, pay your rent on time, make sure to be as organized as possible, and I don't recommend that you tell your landlord right away. A really good quote in this situation, it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. The next tip is should you tell your neighbors that you're gonna be hosting on Airbnb? I recommend that you don't tell them. Your neighbors do not need to know how you pay rent. That's not their business, that's yours. If you tell your neighbors, they're most likely gonna tell your landlord and your entire project's gonna be scrapped right from the beginning. Another reason why you don't wanna tell your neighbors is because they might go ahead and create their own listing, creating even more competition. The next tip is to make this a project. From doing your market research to welcoming your first guests, there are a lot of steps in between. Take a moment to plan out what you're about to take on. Here's a short list that can help you out. Make a list of what you have and of what you're gonna need. Set your space with what you have right now. Take your pictures or hire a photographer. Go ahead and start creating the listings after you have the photos done. Figure out how much you're gonna charge per night. Set your availability for what works for you. Here's your bonus tip. This is about your bio and your profile picture. Take time to write yourself a good bio. If you look while you're writing up your bio, you're gonna see Airbnb recommendations. Follow those. Those go and create a really nice bio and they're really easy to follow. Make sure you upload your best profile picture. Scroll your phone, scroll your Instagram, scroll your Facebook. Find the picture that makes you look the best. Make sure it's semi-professional too. You don't want something with an Instagram filter on it with a crown and flowers. You'll just look like a joke. That's it for my Airbnb tips for renters. Before you go, make sure to subscribe to the channel. As always, keep hosting.